Brian's Mobile One. Well, uh, a couple years ago, I was given the opportunity to purchase this super vehicle for a purchase price of uh, $500. Uh, since purchasing this vehicle, uh, some of the first uh, indications that the, it might have been a bad idea was when you drive it. Well, it does turn, but there's like a good extra six inch buffer uh, between turns. So that when you're going to turn um, and you're not fully committed to the turn, you, you got like a, like a tape delay in the steering wheel. So you got time to change your mind before you turn. And, but if you're really going to turn, you got to be uh, fully committed. So in that regard, it's, it's beneficial. Then um, also when you're driving, it, uh, it does this. Uh, I like to I like to just say that I get a nice core workout because uh, while the front end is doing its old thing, it's 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 doing kind of this like like side to side and rotating thing, and then the back the back side you can feel it. you can feel it in your butt. It's really quite an experience. Where it kind of like like accelerates on one side, then digs so uh, so it's like it's like your it's like your uh, rear end is twerking all the time. It's like it's just it's so you're doing, doing kind of this thing uh, everywhere you go. All right, if you could bounce it up and down. That's good, and then do the back and forth thing. Perfect. For the spring perch patch, all I did is take a little piece of 4x4, four four, it's uh, 3.75 millimeters, something like that. But I had a scrap that was sitting around and I'm like, man, that's about the perfect size. So I went ahead and cut it off, but it was rough on one end and it kind of worked out perfect for doing what we're doing here. It's got thicker thickness than what it was new for the perch. And it was nice malleable stuff that I could hammer and didn't have to use a torch to get it to bend where I wanted it to. But it's thick enough to where it'll hold a shape. Things have progressed a little bit here. There's not the holes that there used to be. And we've got some new uh, precision brand heavier duty kind of stuff going on here. Without all the play that used to be there. As for the track bar, same story. We've even got the uh, dampening mass. Ma yeah, mass. I got my bell rung a little bit so my words aren't coming out so good. So you never know because I hit it under a band-aid. Anyway, what do you think? Um, it, it's uh, an enormously vast improvement and uh, my safety is probably uh, a little bit uh, better at this point. <laughs> we were talking about uh, uh, steering and suspension being an important part of safety. so. We welded a strip of metal across this. We got it so that it contours and matches. And that way when the spring blows through what little is left of the <laughs> spring perch, it'll at least be caged in. The Grand Cherokee is gonna be a little shorter on the driver's side than it was before, but no worse for wear. So here's what we look like with a little paint on it. Had to splash a little paint on the spring too, but we got all of these. Why am I narrating this? Okay, so uh, this used to uh, be separate from this. It was, it was, it wasn't supposed to be like that. So uh, some uh, fabrication was done, and we, uh, well, I stood around and watched. Well, Brian uh, put some metal here, did some welding, and some finagling, and we got this to now function properly, so that. Uh, uh, as Brian explained, uh, when I try to roll the vehicle uh, while I'm uh, getting out of the freeway, I will be unsuccessful, at least because of that. I still might ro <laughs> roll it, but not, this won't be the cause. So then we've got, the, we got this little tie rod uh, changed out because it was uh, not functioning properly. 
and was giving us the uh, well the, the the three second delay in the steering was it because of this uh, track bar track bar pan hard bar either pan name pan hard bar okay yeah. uh, this was a, an upgrade an improvement and uh, so we're uh, very excited. Oh, now that's more like it. Oh, now that's more like it. Oh, now that's more like it. Everything's moving together now. We don't have any play at all at the track bar. It's all nice and tight. Uh, it starts and uh, it turns on when you turn the key every, every single time, which is a big plus. And uh, the, the steering, uh, does it, uh, you, you, it, it feels like a Formula One race car. It's, it's uh, well, okay, it's, not, it, it's just better. The steering's better. It, you don't have, you know, the six second delay. Now it's down to like a one and a half second like a normal car. So it's gonna be weird getting used to a car that's not making lots of noises and stuff. So maybe I'll start listening to the radio because I can now. So the, the car works now and I'm uh, very uh, grateful to Brian and uh, Brian Mobile One for, for helping me out. Get me back on the road until the next thing breaks. A few moments later, Okay, hey, so the, we got the issues with the front end uh, uh, going pretty good. So, you know, it's, it steers without a six second delay, which is really cool. But the rear end still is doing the shaky, shaky uh, thing. They call it a uh, uh, bump steer. It means your, your bum's steering you. Uh, so we uh, change out with this called the lower control arm. And it keeps the axle from... Uh, uh, well, uh, falling off of the, the vehicle. And so anyway, these bushings are put in here pretty tight and they remain really, really tight and they're really hard to get out, uh, normally. <laughs> this is, uh, bad. So this is probably taking back and forth and, uh, not doing what it's supposed to do. So this is probably a big part of the problem. Bonus footage at the end. Okay, this is just ridiculously cool. I'm in a blacksmith shop. You got your anvil. You got your blower. You got your coals. You see this antique Lancaster geared blower, number 40. It says Champion Blower and Forge Company, Lancaster, Pennsylvania, USA. I go to test to see if it moves. It not only moves. If you take dust, sprinkle the dust, you can see it blows. I won't do too much of it. I'm probably not supposed to even touch it, but... Man, they made things good back in the day. That would have been used on a real regular basis. Would have been a real workout doing this in the desert back in the 1800s. Just amazing.